Hello Geeks! In this Windows 10 Test and Try Part 1 video, we will look how Windows 7 users can test Windows 10 totally risk-free with no installation or virtualization required, with a pre-installed 90-day free trial of Windows 10 virtual hard disk and native boot. Test and Try Part 2 will show the same for Windows 8 users, the process being somewhat different. See full instructions on 7forums.com and 10forums.com, links in video description. To start with, go to 10forums.com and open Virtualization section. In it, you'll find a sticky thread Windows 10 virtual machines now available on Microsoft. Open the thread. Scroll down to download link. Select your preferred Windows 10 build, stable or insider preview. My recommendation is to get the preview as it shows all latest changes in Windows 10. Select VirtualBox platform. Click download chip, save the file to your local PC. Notice that the download size is almost 3.9 GB. While the chip file downloads, install 7-chip and VirtualBox. We will need them both for one single task. They can be uninstalled as soon as we have mounted the VHD. In VirtualBox, we only need the app itself. If you have no other use for VirtualBox, you don't have to install USB support, networking and Python support. Right-click the downloaded zip file, select Extract All. Click Extract. Open the extracted folder, right-click the OVA file, select 7-zip, select Extract Files. Click OK. Open the extracted folder. Copy the .vmdk file to desktop. Rename it with a simple name without spaces. Do not change the .vmdk extension. Open an admin command prompt. CD to your desktop folder. We need to convert the .vmdk file to .vhd format. Enter the comment exactly as shown in video and tutorial. Hit enter. VBox Manage converts now our .vmdk file to .vhd. Mm -hmm. 
open computer management, select disk management. Go to action menu, select attach VHD, browse to and select your newly created Windows 10 virtual hard disk file. The virtual hard disk will be attached to your host and will be shown in disk management. Note the drive letter it gets. Almost done. Now we only need to add the VHD containing Windows 10 to boot me. To do that, open an admin command prompt. Enter the command exactly as shown in video and tutorial. Be sure to use correct drive ID letter. It must be that of your attached VHD. That's it. Restart your PC. Because Windows 10 was the last entry added, you will see Windows 10 boot menu now. The last entry, in this case Windows 10, will be the default operating system, the one started automatically when countdown is done. See the tutorial for instructions to change the options, countdown options, and other defaults here or later on. I decided to change the default OS to Windows 7. When done, it's time to test Windows 10. The first boot takes some time. Windows needs to check your hardware and install proper drivers. Don't panic now when you see that Windows license is expired. It can take up to 10 minutes before your 90-day trial license is activated. Notice that you cannot change the desktop wallpaper or do any other personalizations before Windows activates the trial license. In this short example now, I will change resolution and wallpaper and add an admin user account for myself. I will also set correct time zone and 24-hour clock. The trial VHD is by default set to US Pacific time and 12-hour clock.
time to restart back to my host Windows 7 system. Notice that because I changed the default OS earlier to Windows 7, the start menu has been changed to that of Windows 7. Even if you would never need Matroom free for system images, I recommend you install it. It has a practical feature which might one day save your behind when multi-booting and Windows boot menu simply do not work. Open Matroom. Open Other Tasks menu. Select Add Recovery Boot menu option. Select PA version 5 or 10, click OK and accept all defaults. When done first time, Matthew needs to build the recovery environment, which can take a few minutes. When something happens, boot records are corrupted and you cannot boot to any of your operating systems, you can always boot to Macroom Recovery and reset the boot files. Click Fix Windows Boot Problems, Accept All Defaults and the boot menu will be removed and Windows can boot to your original host operating system. OK, we are done. Please notice that no changes have been made to your Windows 7 system. In fact, the Windows 10 we used is just a single VHD file which you can remove when you will no longer need it. You can also delete all extracted files and uninstall 7-chip and VirtualBox. When done, there are no traces of you ever using Windows 10 on this PC. That's it, geeks. Thanks for watching.